A shave from all over the world coming up next. Hi YouTubers and watch chambers everywhere, it's MarketGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well this morning I'm going to have an international shave of sorts. The traditional wet shave and the safety razor is exploding in such a way that there is so much product in the market right now and it comes from all over the world. So I'm going to have an international shave. I'm going to be using products that come from the four corners of the world, so to speak. And we're gonna kick it off with my Fatip Grande, all the way from Italy. This is manually made, or handmade on the machinery and equipment, all the way from Italy. Three-piece razor, uh, handle, uh, base plate and cap, solid brass, nickel plate, and of course, it's an open comb razor. So we're gonna use Italian razor this morning. I'm going to be using a Paul Silver razor blade all the way from St. Petersburg, Russia. So let's load that up right now. Okay, beautiful blade balance and alignment, and the end tabs are very nearly enclosed, which really makes it uh, a little safer. You don't want to have those end tabs exposed. Love this razor a lot. Has some nice piping here, gives you a nice grip, some good knurling or tight, tight, tight knurling piping right here on the knob. So really gives a nice, nice grip. Again, solid brass, nickel plated. Uh, an Italian razor with a Russian razor blade. How about that? Uh, I'm going to kick it off with uh, Vikings Blade Black Forest Sandalwood Pre-Shave Cream all the way from Australia. Uh, because I'm using from 74 Germain Street, St. James, London, Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood Shave Cream all the way from London, England. There it is right there. So I got an Australian pre-shave cream and a London shaving cream. I'm going to whip it all up in my Vikings Blade Chairman Shaving Bowl all the way from Australia via Asia. I think these are made in Asia uh, if I'm, if I'm uh, either Australia or Asia, but it is Vikings Blade home based in Australia. Uh, I'm going to be using my Samog Excelsior, 830 Excelsior Boar Brush, 90% top of boar hair, all the way from Portugal. I got a Portugal, a Portuguese shaving brush in an Australian shaving bowl. How about that? We're gonna finish it off with a Shash Allen Block, all the way from France. Now the Shash Allen Block, I continue to link below these videos uh, on Amazon. Um, don't know if it's yet available, but the link is there. I will also link the Osma Allen Blocks because the Osma Allen Blocks are also made in France. So um, it was just a coin toss, which was which one I was going to use, the Shash or the Osma. I'm using the Shash because it's a little bit larger than the Osma Blocks that I have. After the Allen Block, we're going to finish it off with some ice mentholated aftershave all the way from Canada. Uh, Global Shave Dot Club's offering right here. It comes in a stainless steel hip flask. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so that's their ice mentholated aftershave all the way from Canada. And last but not least for upstairs, some Luberderm. The United States is offering. Uh, Luberderm was originally founded in Texas in 1945. It's now a division of Johnson & Johnson. Luberderm from America. So let me get some hot, hot water in my shaving bowl here. Get a little hot water in there to heat it up a little bit. Ah, that's good. Took a while to get warm. And I'm gonna take the uh, brush. Yeah, that's warm. Gonna let the brush soak a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna let the bowl heat up. I'm gonna let the brush soak a little bit for the equivalent of a good hot shower, and I'll be back to start the shave. Okay, so we've uh, had everything soaking here for the equivalent of a good hot shower. I already had a good hot shower, so let's wet the face and get to the shave. All 
not wetting it as much as I do because I've got this great pre-shave cream right here and this will add some good slickness and moisture. Just want a little bit of water on my face to spread it out. Don't want too much water. Got about that much there. And then I got a good two days worth of beard growth here. That's why I use just a little more of the pre-shave. Normally, just after one day's growth, I would probably use a little less, but I want a little more to kind of kick it off because Got more beard growth here than just one day. All right, let's wipe off the hands. A little bit here with a spare towel. Get my shaving bowl. Get that water out of there. And let's get some of this shaving cream. Okay, and you can see I've been using quite a bit of it. So let's get it down to right about, uh, about that much there. Again, it's probably a little bit on the high side, but I'd rather err on the high side for this morning shave than not. So I don't come up short if I need to do a third pass. Okay, here's my brush. It's gonna give it a, a gentle ring there, leave some water in there. I like to get the remnant off of my finger, just kind of put it in the bristles, just something I do. All right, here, let's build a ladder and let that pre-shave kind of set up a little bit. Oh, and look, look, wow, it's already, already building here. That's great. Wow, just exploded. Just the right amount of water in the brush, it looks like. Okay, let me just hold it down here a little bit because it's starting to overflow. Okay. Try to get it like this here. There's a lot of lather there. Wow. Yeah, probably a little, little more. Probably put in a little more than I should have. But again, I want to make sure I have enough for three passes. And I got some nice, nice peaks here too coming up. Wow. This shaving bowl has a, uh, a micro beading on it. So it's like, a, like, like thousands, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of little bumps on the surface that really help to generate the lather quickly. That's why this lather is generating so quickly. And it also is bead blasted, micro bead blasted on the outside. So you get a really nice, nice firm grip. Look at that nice peak there. Okay, this is set. Let's put this on, hey. And it's got a great sandalwood scent. Really terrific. As does the pre-shave. Pre-shave has a nice hint of sandalwood. So they complement one another. Nice. I'm going to get just a little bit of water. Like this. Oh, yeah. That exploded in lather. And I got a lot of nice protection here. All right, look, I got plenty there. Wow. And plenty, I'm scraping so much off of the brush here. Look at that. That's, that is terrific. Let me just rinse my hands here a little bit because they are slick. Okay, all right. Wow. Really, really excited for this shave. Taking some hot water here and heat up my razor.
All right, just swirl it in the sink there in the water just to bring it to the proper temperature. Okay, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Now the Teep is a really nice, mild, yet efficient razor. Doing a great job on this Paul Silver Blade. Is, it, it pairs up wonderfully with this razor. This first pass, wow, that is really, really nice. Nice and smooth, and it's already a nice close shave. Pre-shave cream definitely doing its job, definitely. That is good stuff. Again, you don't need to use a lot, just a little bit, but I use a little more because of my two days growth. Okay, gonna set that aside there. I had to put the lid back on. All right. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, first pass done. Let's rinse. Good first pass. Nice. You know, obviously didn't knock it all down. I mean, on my cheek more than on my neck. But, boy, that was a, that's a good first pass. That's really, really terrific. Nice, smooth first pass. This looks like it might be a two-pass shave. Maybe three. We'll see. Here we go. I'm going to lather up for my second pass here. And again, I got plenty of shaving cream. It's amazing, all the different products from around the world combined can give you a great shave. So if you're looking for something a little more uh, unique, you'll find it someone, someone, somewhere, whether in India, Pakistan, Italy, Germany, United States, Australia, France, they're gonna, they're, chances are they'll have it. A lot of nice choices out there. All right, that's a great second lather there. Wipe my hands off. Well, wipe that razor off a little bit because that pre-shaved cream is very, very slick. Okay, all right, so. Here we go, we're gonna do pass number two, east to west, across the grain. Very nice. Second pass is usually my money pass. That's where uh, I get a little more of my neck and uh, chin. Those seem to be the areas that uh, respond really well to a second pass. And uh, pretty much I'm done after two passes. Sometimes I need a third. Sometimes I'll just do a third pass just because I'm enjoying the shave so much.
Maneuvers well underneath the nostril to get all those little bits. And again, it's a nice, mild razor. It really is. It's mild, but it's efficient. All right. That's pass number two done. Let's rinse. Yeah, I'm done. I don't need a third pass. What I need, what I need is just a little touch-up right there, which is what I'm going to do, just to show you that... I've got it. That's all I need. One more rinse. All right. Boy, that's, that's a nice, smooth, comfortable shave. I'm going to do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. One rinse will get the excess slickness off. Because there is some slickness. Not a lot, but there's some slickness there. And the cold water rinse will close my pores. So here's my warm water rinse. All right, nice. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a nice shave. Wow, that's very, very nice. Here's my cold water rinse. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me. Nice. Boy, that, <laughs> that's a nice shave. That is a nice shave. Wow. Boy, that's a, just a really nice, mild razor. And of course, in a previous uh, Monday morning mailbag, I talked about um, how the folks at Fatip told me that the, the more aggressive Fatip Grande uh, in 2016 was only one production run. So there are some of those out there, if you happen to get one, that's a lot, that, that, that's really more on the aggressive side. You probably have one where the production run was a little different, where the tooling and everything just changed the configuration of the cap and the base plate to make it a more aggressive shave. But for the most part, um, outside of that one production run, this is a really nice mild razor. And boy, I enjoy using it. And it's nice because it's all brass, nickel plated, kind of a throwback to those classic Gillette razors as well. The handle is hollow, just so you see that um, it's not a solid handle, but boy, it does still have some nice weight and balance to it. Okay, so here's my Shash Allen block. We're gonna go ahead and uh, run this under some cold water and get some feedback and see what, uh, What's what? A zing here and there, but for the most part, nice and smooth. Very nice and smooth. Boy, that's, that's, that's terrific. That really is nice. Very, very nice. Wow. All right, we're going to dry this off, as I always do, and set this in my dish. Let it air dry overnight so that uh, it's ready for tomorrow morning's shave. All right, I'm going to let this set up. I'm going to mop up a little bit. I'll be right back to finish the shave. Hang in there with me. Okay, this bore brush cleans up nicely, not as quickly as, um, as the synthetic brushes, but it really does a nice job and it's really nice and soft. This is a terrific, terrific brush, the Excelsior 830. The only downside is I wish it had a little longer handle uh, so I could use a deeper uh, shaving bowl or shaving mug with it. Uh, which is why I use the Chairman Shaving Bowl. It seems to be the right size for this brush. And also does a, the Chairman Shaving Bowl does a great job in uh, whipping up a lather. Again, because of that micro beading that it has there. But um, this cleaned up nicely. Look at that. And look how nicely it's bloomed over time. And uh, terrific, terrific brush. Um, and we're going to hang it on the stand right here. 
won't fit here, but it fits nicely here. This is uh, my Vikings Blade razor and brush stand, stainless steel from Australia. There you go, Vikings Blade Australia. All right, so let's get some of this uh, mental mentholated aftershave ice all the way from Canada. Sheldon Quinn and GlobalShave.club. Okay, there's no restrictor there, it's just open, so you could just pour it out. Oh man. That's nice. And because I had a nice clue, because I had a nice close, comfortable shave, there's absolutely no burning, just a nice brace, a nice, really, really nice scent. The ingredients here are uh, aqua, peg alcohol, glycerin, menthol, lemon, and spearmint essential oils. So uh, a really nice choice for uh, an aftershave. Like this a lot. And uh, you know, kind of mixing things up with the sandalwood and now this and uh, I dare say it'll probably kick in a little bit too because of the menthol but just enough there to where it doesn't overwhelm really nice Lubriderm for upstairs all the way from America get about that much there yeah Yeah, and that aftershave, just kicking in slightly, just a little bit. Nice, very nice. Great shave from all over the world. How about that? If you're not doing a traditional wet shave with a safety razor, really, seriously, look into it because there is so much product coming from the four corners of the world. It's amazing if you want a razor, you can get a razor from Australia, Asia, Canada, Germany, England, Italy, uh, even Russia has a, a razor that's, uh, that they're manufacturing. Uh, United States and Canada also have safety razors that they're making. Uh, soaps and creams from all over the world, uh, from, from Italy, from Germany, from the United States, from Canada, from Australia. It's amazing what is out there. And uh, um, you have just a huge pool of products to pick from that will uh, complement your beard and your skin type to give you absolutely the best shave every single morning. Just do the traditional wet shave is my recommendation because it's a great way to do the shave. It's a great way to kick off your morning. And there is so much product out there that uh, I dare say you won't have a bad shave uh, <laughs> because there is just so much to use to try and that's part of the enjoyment. There is such a great choice out there. You can rotate different products in and out every single day and try different combinations to give you uh, a nicer result from day to day. All right, well, hey, that's it. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really, really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below, let me know. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comments from George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out my Amazon product page where you'll find all the products I review on this channel. Organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.